My big brother is Chad, and he is important to me. When I first met Kenny, he was a young, shy boy that uh, was not very outgoing, but now when I pull up or I call him or he calls me to tell me about his report card, can't get him to stop talking. People that are successful in our business are naturally givers. They're people that, that have uh, big hearts. Chad has a passion. He has a passion to help people. I think Chad is passionate about the work of United Way because he gets it. He recognizes the importance of a community that is strong. It's great to see him get some recognition for what he's been doing with the United Way because he's been working a long time. Chad's been involved in, in, a, in a number of things. He uh, started serving meals at uh, the Safe Haven Homeless Shelter. He's an advisory board member for Safe Haven. He adopted a family uh, during the holidays, rallied the troops to help support that. Chad was chairman of the Senate Society. He also was a founding member of our Tocqueville Society. And because of Chad's commitment to at-risk members of our community, we believe he has been able to make a difference in the lives of the kids at Big Brothers and Big Sisters. When I was looking to mentor uh, a young child, I asked Big Brothers, I said, you know, I don't care who I have, where's the biggest need? And they said the Amachi program is the biggest need that we have. I was drawn to the Amachi program when I saw the numbers. The stats say that, you know, if you have a parent that is incarcerated, there's a high probability, somewhere around 70% chance that you will also be incarcerated. The Amachi program helps us put mentors in the lives of those children who have a parent that's incarcerated to hopefully break that trend and um, encourage them to finish school and um, become um, regular functioning citizens instead of um, ending up in jail. We received a grant from the state of Tennessee and then the federal government cut that grant in the middle of a three-year grant period. There are no children or prisoners programs funded by the federal government at this point. So, you know, for us to keep that program going is really important. What the money would do would um, hopefully help us build up back to where we can bring in more children because there's a great need in Nashville. It's so important to have um, volunteers like Chad in the organization just because we need people who are consistent and kind of can see the bigger picture. People are busy and have schedules and families and stuff, but to really make this child a priority in your life is priceless really to the child and to their family. Chad is um, very special because he's a community leader and he strives to be an even stronger community leader. He knows how to bring people into the fold in a very special way and he does it through his heart and he does it through his head. You know, I think I'm very blessed. I've got a great family, I've got a great business um, and you know, I just feel compelled to give back and help the Nashville community be a better place. When I think United Way, Chad is one of those people that I think about immediately because he's been a consistent thread from an involvement standpoint. He's always the guy on the phone to, to call you. People like Chad are really uh, critical to our growth. We can ask for money from foundations, we can make grant applications, but we must have the community involved, donors from the community. Chad is exceptional. What's your favorite thing about the Apache program? I get to have Mr. Chad.